Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space. So today we are going to see uh, how to convert your text uh, in the form of a string data type into a data table, right? So it's more like similar to the continuations what we had in the past uh, session, right? So this is what all about, right? How do you convert your text to a data table? So to achieve this, what is required? You have to search for an activity called generate data table in UiPath Studio, and it will ask. It will have a couple of uh, inputs which you can customize based on your needs. Since it's a simple one, I'm just going to show you how to do a basic conversion. If you want to go in detail to try out each and every options, that's still possible, right? So it will ask you to ask. Uh, add an input which is in the form of a string uh, data type. So you just mention what it is. And uh, there'll be output column which will ask you to enter your data type. If you have existing data type, that's fine. So if you have a new uh, data table which is created, data table type which is created, that's also well and good. So without getting delayed, we'll jump back to your iPad Studio. Right. So this is one of the uh, example which we've done yesterday to create uh, like the conversion of data type to string. Now we are going to see it in vice versa to retrieve that information in the form of a data table again right so this will be sent like still it helpful because it will be handy so i'll give you a part of previous video if you got uh, missed out and that will be helpful for you to uh, convert data table to text so as as i mentioned to you in the theoretical part right so we had to go to a uh, data table and gen for find for generate data table right so build data table and generate data table both are different so you will be able to find a difference Right, so uh, find a generate data table activity and place it in your workspace, right? So once you place it, it will have a couple of input which I already mentioned, right? So we are not care about much of this thing at this point, which is uh, required at the advanced level as well. So what we care about is like we need an input. So input should be in the form of a string, right? For example, output str is the string which comes from this part. So I've just used the same output string. And how you need to store it? I want to store it in the form of a data table, which I don't have right now. I'll create it. Uh, right. So I'll give enter. Now it will it will be what it will, it's going to do. It's going to create a data table and convert it into string. And again, it's going to convert it into a data table. That's the whole activity. Since this two are already covered, this is the only part which I'm going to cover it in this session. Right, so let's run it and see how that's going to be helpful and uh, watch the output over here. Right, it's building a data table and converting a data table to string, which was our past ex past uh, ex exercises. So this is what the string is all about. And this string should be converted into data table after this activity is getting ran. Right, so I've ran it. Now you can see, right, generate data table, which is having column one, right? So in this question, column one uh, as like uh, the value, but it is not structured as what it is there in the beginning, because in the initial stage, it was their country and rank. Right now, it's just assumed it to be just one column, which is having all the values. So I don't want it in that fashion. I, I can still do the formatting with the uh, existing option available in the utility itself, right? So instead of auto detect uh, uh, the column types, right? So you can have an option below here, use first row as a column header. So I can use it, uh, like I can give a checkbox over there. And if I run it again, I can be able to achieve what I need to do it, right? So just run it here and see whether we can uh, able to achieve what we are trying to do it, right? This is the output. Uh, string output str which is which we are passing to generate data table and uh, see whether we can able to find it yeah so this is the output and uh, it is working as what we expected so initial what we had what we have shown it here is like we build a data table and try to convert a data table into text and again converting the text into a data table so that like we have a full cycle I'm attaching this uh, workflow with this video description as well. If you want to have a look, you can just give a try as well. So that's it all about. I want to try and show you like how to convert a text into a data table. 
until next video keep you uh, post until the next video we'll see with the different functions just keep sharing subscribing to the channel and let me know if you have any questions or comments if you want to clarify or if i want to cover any new uh, areas or topics i'll be happy to address that without any uh, delay so until next video thank you